The only real bad thing about the 1989 film Do You Know The Muffin Man is that it always makes me sing that song. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, it's got nothing to do with the actual song itself. This is a film starring Pam Dauber, which is why I watched it, directed by Gilbert Cates and written by Daniel Freudenberger. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A police officer and his wife are shocked to find that molestation has been going on at the neighbourhood daycare. They're devastated when they know that their son might be a victim too. Should they have known? Should they have seen it? So we have some sexual child abuse going on here or suspected to be going on here. And the film's all about looking into it and trying to ascertain what exactly is going on, who the victims are, whether or not the children are telling the truth and whether or not anybody can be convicted. And it's obviously given the nature of this, it's very intense. I... As a crime writer, I tend to gravitate towards narratives that deal with children in vulnerable situations like this because I find the way the law and the legal system works around it to be really fascinating. Now, obviously, this is the American legal system, slightly different to the one in the UK. And it's really interesting to see how these children are being are being treated and being, being handled. So Pam Dauber plays Kendra Dollison and John Shea plays Roger. And we have Brian Bosnell as young Teddy. And you may have seen him in some other things. He has previously done quite a few things. He went on to do Blank Check, the Disney film. And he also did... um, He was in Star Trek The Next Generation as Alexander Rosenko. I'm not overly familiar with Star Trek, so that may mean something, but it doesn't to me. But obviously brilliant young actor and he's very good as some of the other children are at plucking out the emotions, making the viewer feel concern, anxiety. And it may seem weird to say that a film that induces anxiety is really thrilling and very enjoyable, but it is. It is gripping. Dauber gives a fantastic performance as the concerned mother. I absolutely love her. I know I'm biased. And... To be fair, it's it was also nominated for two primetime Emmys, which is no mean feat. It was nominated for the Outstanding Music Composition, and it was also nominated for the Outstanding Directing of a miniseries or special. Additionally, Brian Bosnell and Stephen Dorff were both nominated for the Young Artist Awards Best Young Actor. Um, I don't know who that went to that year, neither of those, unfortunately. But I think this is a massively underrated film. IMDb has just 244 reviews, that's it, with an average rating of 5.9 out of 10, which is not so bad for a film with few reviews. Personally, I absolutely adore it. The subject matter is handled very sensitively. The development of the narrative is done at such a a gripping pace, but it doesn't bombard us with too much information at once. And that's something that I you know, I think is always important with this because if you suddenly get too much information, it can be really, really overwhelming and hard to keep up with the narrative. But this most certainly was not the case here. I think they handled the subject matter very sensitively and very well. And I have no complaints about it at all. As I said, my only complaint is that I always, whenever I think about it or write about it or mention it, I always get the Do You Know The Muffin Man song stuck in my head. But if that's the film's biggest flaw, if that's the biggest disappointment, then I'd say it's doing exceptionally well for itself. I think it's very good. Definitely worth watching. I think you'll enjoy it if you enjoy gritty child-centric crime films. This is certainly one of the greatest I've seen.